Good morning guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I hope you found that last video useful. If you do find these videos useful, please subscribe. Uh, it's great to get subscribers. Now, in this video, we are going to change the disc pad, well, the brake pads on Shimano disc brakes. So here we go. Now, here we go. So I've got Shimano disc pads. Uh, I believe they're dual caliper through between the two pads and uh, obviously you press the brake and uh, it, these are hydraulic brakes the fluid then squeezes the calipers together and slows you down now on this disc pad uh, these ones have um, split pins uh, just to keep the pads in place and they're they're there some have uh, a bolt a sort of bolt mechanism that you undo but these are split pins okay now basically that's the rear brake and i'm now going to move on to the front brake and as you can see this is the front brake and you can just see the split pin just there on the front brake now the brake pads that i'm using today they're from shimano and i got them from 99 bikes no affiliation they were just the the closest uh bike shop and i got them on a club price so it's basically a loyalty membership price i'm just gonna flip the bike over and take the wheels off and then we'll get going on the pads so that's the bike flipped over front wheels i'm just going to do one set with the front wheel so it's easier to show and you can see there uh, the brakes with the wheel off that's the calipers just in the middle there and then the split pin is just here now just one thing that I've noticed with the split pins is that they're not that long and you can see there that it just really doesn't it's gone out of focus it just doesn't really give you a lot of space the other side to split them so that could be an issue if that split pin came out you'd possibly lose your brakes so that's just something to watch to check that those split pins are always secure okay so with the split pin out we're just gonna flip around here a second split pins out and then we're just going to pull the calipers out of the brake like so and there they go and then just just open them up I mean they look like they've got loads of uh, loads of wear left in them uh, I'm not quite that sure but they've been on the bike for quite a while so I probably thought it was a good idea to change them now here's the new set so in the packet you get you actually get three split pins so I don't know it only needs one so maybe two just in case they're spare or for spares which is a good idea so uh, you get the two pads you get a spring clip that goes in between the two pads and then you have three split pins now what I'm going to do is, and now it's an idea just to wear gloves, you really don't want to be touching the pads. Now the way they go together is the spring fits like so and it's got, it has a little hole in the top of it that lines up with the holes on the pads and then so all you do is you just line the pads up like so and then you put the other one on top and then you just do the reverse of what you did taking them out uh, now I'm just gonna put the camera down to do that so they look something well, they look like that when you get them together and as you can see uh, I've got focus as you can see um, the holes line up and then you just slide it back into the caliber. Now just put the camera down. And then so as you can see, they just slide back into the caliper like so. 
and then you just come around and just reinsert the, the split pin now Shimano those split pins aren't long enough that's pretty uh, pretty bad so what I'm going to do is just use the old split pin which is slightly longer and just put them back in but Shimano make your split pins longer so there we go split pin back in old split pin so now just get the wheel on get it all lined up and Bob's your uncle okay so that's the wheel back on now the way you line it up is on the brake there on the actual brake caliper there are two hex nuts there's one there and one just there and then all you do is just slightly loosen them like so and then you just come around to the front brake and I just put my foot on it put your foot on it and then all you do is just tighten is just tighten those hex nuts back up again now just gonna and then as I said all you do is you put the brake on gently and then just tighten these two hex, nut, hex nuts up again and there you go it spins without noise well thanks for watching that video I hope you found it useful um, that is literally the first time I've changed disc brake so it is very simple and there's no reason why you can't do it yourself if you found this video useful please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video